Hi guys, happy new year. As you guys can see from the title, today we are doing my makeup use up of 2024. foremost I want to wish you guys a happy new year. I have not filmed in about 14 days. I haven't turned on any of this equipment in about 14 days so I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, we had a little bit of a rough start and ending to our 2023. Mr. Man's back went out halfway through our Christmas vacation so that put a halt on a lot of things that we wanted to do with family here and then the second day of actually no it was on New Year's Day that our tree decided to topple over completely topple over and made such a big mess. It took a chunk of my middle finger nail. I don't want to show you guys because it's my middle finger, but it took a chunk of my nail. I had a splinter on here. I mean, it was such a mess, but I am here. This is why it took me a little bit longer to film this video because I had to clean up Christmas. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to put things away that I didn't want to, but I had no choice this year and I couldn't keep it up a little bit longer. So anyway, I am here to start the new year with my very first project pan that I want to do this year. I'm so excited. This is now my third year, I believe, doing this. So we're going to go into the details and all the products. All right, you guys, so I chose 24 products. Now, typically I do not follow the year, but this year I decided to give it a shot and actually do the actual year amount. So I do have 24 items. For the most part, all of these items, let me look, da -da 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 -da. yes, I think every single item I want to completely empty out. All of these products I do not want to only use halfway. Everything is to be used in its entirety. This project pan is mainly to use up products one and to incorporate the items that I'm sharing with you guys today in different project pans. So I am gonna, I may, yeah, I'm gonna end up putting some of these in other project pans in either in prompts, in month long project pans, whatever the case may be. And if I don't, these are the products that I will be reaching for in my daily routine. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. So if you see some of these products being thrown into other project pans, you're fully aware this project pan, it is what's fueling my other project pan. So then that way I can be as successful as possible. What I'm gonna do is try to give you guys quarterly updates on these products. Some of these products, like I said, will be in other project pans. So you will see updates in those. So I will not be updating you guys on here, but for the most part, anything that is not any another project pan will be updated in here. So let's get into it. Now I don't have these in any particular order, but I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna try not to be repetitive. <laughs> We're gonna try um, and co and constantly say I want to finish up finish up you guys are fully aware everything is to be finished up so for powder I chose the beauty bakery flower setting powder in translucent I don't have much less left less I can't even speak either I don't have much left and this is something that I use in the summertime so I put this in here the other one is my wet and wild translucent setting powder. This is what I use for my under eyes and I really don't have much in this one either. So um, I'm hoping that I can get two powders out of my life this year. And I do like both. So don't get me wrong. I'm not hate panning any of these products. For face primer, I want to use up my, uh, what is this one? Hard Candy Sheer Envy Glow Serum. This is what I'm wearing today. Actually, this one I'm wearing today, just so you guys know, I'm wearing this one today. I'm wearing this one today. I want to completely finish this one off. You guys can see this one. I don't need a lot. I, a full pump is too much for me. A uh, half a pump is just enough. So this might take me a little bit to use. I don't use this in the summer. It's only in the drier months or in the fall time. So it'll be a little bit tricky if I don't get quite a bit of use on it. Um, now as we speak. So I want to finish this one off. I did get a second one in PR last year at the end of last year. So I do have a backup of this one. So I just want to use this one. Really do enjoy it. The other one that I want to use up is my Danessa Myricks Universal Blurring Balm. This is a free gift with purchase, you guys, and it's still kicking. So I have officially hit pan on this one. I don't know if you guys can tell. I only use this in the T-zone, but when the summer shifts and comes, I use this all over my face, my cheeks, and my chin. So it'll get a lot of use once the summer arrives. 
and I take a break off of this one. So these are my two uh, face primers that I wanna use this year up, and I think I should be okay with that. So I chose the Benefit Boing Bright On Concealer. This is a corrector in the shade Peach. I've been using this one since last year. I think this is one that I've been using now for at least six months, and it's still going, you guys. Like, I do not see any windowing on this. I don't use a lot of this, but I like it, I don't love it. I do like the tone of it. It's concealing part, not so much, but it's okay. I'm gonna use this one up and then I won't repurchase that one. Concealer I want to finish off is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Unfortunately, this was discontinued as soon as I purchased it. I have, about two days ago, took out the stopper. I do take out the stoppers out of my concealer correctors, not lip gloss, but uh, I wanna finish this one off and I don't see myself having a problem finishing this one off. I already have windowing in here and I already have the stopper out. So I decided to throw in another one. So I do wanna use up my Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is something I absolutely adore. And when I was going through all of my concealers that I did purchase last year, I want to use the ones that I genuinely love the most. And then the ones that I'm eh about, I'll leave for last. Cause if I declutter them, I declutter them or I move them on, I move them on. But I don't want my nice ones to go bad. So this is why I brought this one in. Cause I do wanna finish this one off. I would repurchase this one. So I'm hoping that I can finish that one off this year as well. All right, let's move on. On to bronzer. Now this is a bronzer I was not gonna put in this year, but after reevaluating, I did this list about three, four different times, and then I realized I really do wanna finish this one off. I just love how it looks, and why stop to get used to something else when I'm already loving it? So this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light, and I have gotten quite a bit of use out of this. I've been using this one since October of last year. I still have yet to hit the pan on here. I have flattened the dome a little bit as you guys can see right there. I have flattened the dome and you can clearly see that I've been using it from all the powder kick up from it. It is what I'm wearing today. I really, really do love this one. It's a shame this is no longer in existence. I do have the medium to dark one, which I would actually, wouldn't mind using that one for the summertime. But for now I'm only using, I'm only gonna bring in one bronzer for a specific reason. So I wanna get use out of that and completely use it up. It is one of my older bronzers at this point. The other one, it's like a duo. So this is why I'm like uh, hesitant about it. I am gonna bring this in and let's see how I do with this one. This is the Laura Geller Bronze and Glow. And it has half of a bronzer, which is Tahitian Glow, which is my all time favorite bronzer ever. Like I love this bronzer. I have it in a jumbo size. I have it in this size where it's a whole pan and then I have half of one. So I decided to use this one up. So this is my other bronzer that I wanna get use out of. And while I was at it, why not use Tahitian or Tropic Hues, which is the best seller from Laura Geller. And I do have this one in a full size as well, as well as a mini. So why not completely use this up? Let's see if I can do this, where I can use the bronzer and a blush. And I'm only gonna bring in this one blush this year. This whole duo I am intending on using for this summertime. Once I start to hit a tan, this is when this is gonna look beautiful. So I'm gonna try it, you guys. I'm gonna try it. Her baked blush, uh, her baked products are hard to use up, let alone hit pan on. So we'll see how much I can get use out of it. I believe this one will be the one that will give me the hardest time out of anything I chose, maybe. Well, one of the few things that'll give me a hard time, but I am gonna bring that one in. As far as highlighters, I'm bringing in two of them. This is the Mary Luminizer, my oldest highlighter as we speak. This is what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is beautiful. I've been using this one since October as well. So I have been able to expand the pan and I already have pan on it. So I will be taking pictures of everything so you guys can see where we stand. I wanna use this completely up. I'm hoping by the end of the year, I will be able to use this completely up. So this will be my highlighter that I wanna use up. And the other one that I wanna use up is my Wet n Wild Precious Petals. This is something, this is one of my favorites and I would repurchase this one. It's like a beigey color and I already have pan on it so why not use it completely up? I, if you've known me for a while, I've mentioned this before, I don't have a problem leaving pans and eyeshadows. I have a big problem leaving pans in face products. <laughs> I have to use them up if it has pan in it. I don't keep them for long if they have pan. I got to use it up. So this is why I'm bringing this one in. I love it as well and it'll look beautiful. So those are the two highlighters I'm going to bring in. All right, as far as brow products. So I am bringing in two things that I want to use up this year. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I would actually purchase this one. It doesn't have much left in here, but I only use this one to line the lower part of my brow and then that's it. So I decided this is going to take me a little bit since I'm only using it that way. I'm gonna bring in my Anastasia Beverly Hills 
Perfect Brow Pencil. I bought this last year. Really, really love this one as well. I believe these are my two top favorite. Any brow product, I think these are my two top favorite. This is what I'm wearing on my brows to fill it in. And I have the shade Dark Brown. Both of these are dark brown, right? Cause this one is number four. I could go for number three. Number four is a little bit dark, but I could do for number three. So I wanna use this one up. Let's see how much I can use of this one. I don't see myself having a problem cause it, typically one brow pencil will take me a whole year to use and that's okay. Cause those are my only two brow pencils in my collection anyway. Eyeliner. I decided to bring this one in. This is my Makeup Forever in the brown shade. This is the M60. It's not much left, but this will take me almost a whole year to use up. I use this to chisel the edge of my upper lash line. Sometimes I tight line on it, sometimes I don't. But I like to use it on my upper lash line. I'm wearing it today, so I wanna use this one up. It's the only eyeliner I am bringing in. Speaking of eyeliners, I have some shadow sticks that I'm going to challenge myself with this year. Besides that duo highlight, uh, the duo with the brush, blush. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. Stop it. Besides the duo from Laura Geller, I believe these three products will be some of my harder ones to finish off as well in Target. So these are the three that I'm bringing in this year. I'm bringing in the Milani Almond Cream. I use this as a double prime product for my eyelash, uh, my, actually, my, to, pa, 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 pa. I use this to double prime my eyeshadow, my lids. So I wanna use this completely up. It doesn't take much. I've only sharpened this twice since I've been using it last year. So this is gonna take me all year to use up. That's okay though, because I think I could do it. The other one that I wanna use up as well is the Cafe A Latte. This one's gorgeous. I love this one. I love this for all over the lid. I just smudge it out. This is like my work eyeshadow, honestly. So I use this when I go to work it's all over the lid, into the crease, blend it out. I could leave it that way, move on with my life, or I could top it with something else. This is beautiful, absolutely love it. So I wanna use this up. This one will be harder than the um, almond cream because this one I use every day. This one I don't technically use every day, but I'm gonna challenge myself to use this one. Since this is one of my oldest ones, I do wanna use that one up. The other one that I wanna bring in is a mini. This is a Nude Sticks in Burnish. I love to top this shade with this one if I want some sort of shimmer or put this all over my lid as well. Look how beautiful. These two pair together is just gorgeous eye. Good to go, moving on. My church look, and I've used a little bit of it. I've yet to sharpen this one. I don't know how long these last. So we're gonna bring this one in as well. So I have three shadow sticks I'm gonna try to use up this year. That's gonna be a challenge. Staying in with the eye products, I wanna use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is a full size. It's not full because I've been using this one. It's about that much. So it's still quite a bit. This should take me half the year to use up. And then I can finally, for the first time in over six, seven years, that I could finally purchase an eyeshadow primer. I have not purchased an eyeshadow primer in so long. So after I'm done this one, I can officially purchase one, you guys. The last eye product that I have is a single shadow. This is by Cargo in the shade Windsor. So I wanna use this completely up, you guys. This has 3.5 grams. That's more than a single, sh that's more than a shadow. And typically they're about three grams, two grams, two to three grams. This is 3.5. I did have this in Pan Those Eyeshadows where I used it about 27 times last year and that was the end of that. This is gonna take me forever to use up, but it is a lead, a lid sh setting shade. So it should be fine for me to use all year long. Since I have the whole year to use this up, I'm going to do my best to use this completely up, this whole tin up. Last but not least, the last five products that I have for you guys are lip products. Yeah, five lip products I wanna use up. And this is the first year I'm not bringing in a lip liner. I decided not to do a lip liner and challenge myself a little bit more. So, I've never finished a liquid lip, so I figured this might be the year to do a liquid lip. I'm gonna bring in Stila Patina. Today is the first day I open this up. Today is the first day I'm wearing it. I will keep tally to see how many uses it takes for me to use this completely up. I've never used a liquid lip, so I don't know if I will pull the stopper out. I don't like pulling stoppers out of lip glosses, so something tells me I may not like pulling stoppers out of liquid lipstick. So don't expect for me to pull out the stopper out of this one, but I do wanna use this one completely up. It is a mini. It should not be that hard. If I use it during this time of year, mix it in with other lip products, I think I should be okay so long as I remember to use it. So this is the only liquid lip I wanna use up this year. I wanna use up two lipsticks. One should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is Nude Embrace by Maybelline, you guys. This is all that I have left. 
This should only take me about a month. I am wearing this one mixed in with patina today on my lips and I do like the combo. So this might be the combo that I will be using for quite a bit, but I have been really working hard during the Christmas season to try to use this up during the vacation that I had where I wasn't filming at all. This is the lip product that I was reaching for, mixing it with other things. So I should be done with this one. This is a gimme product, so let's hope I do that. The other lipstick I wanna bring in is an expensive one. Remember I told you guys one of my goals this year is to bring in things that are expensive, like my Lancome concealer, my Danessa Myricks balm. Like I'm trying to bring in expensive things into my project pan. So this is a Chanel lipstick in it's a rouge allure in pensive. So this is what this one's looking like. I have used it not much, but I have used it and this should be an easy shade for me to use with many different items. So this is what this one looks like. I should not have a problem putting it on and moving about my day. See, it doesn't alter too much. Your lip product just makes it a little bit more glossy. So using this one completely up. Let's see how I do with that one. And last but not least is two lip glosses. So the first one I wanna finish off is the NYX Fat Lip Oil in the color Follow Back. I have been working on this one since last year. I am halfway done the tube. I should be able to finish this one off. I shouldn't have a problem. This is really easy for me to just slap on and I love the formula of that one. The other one is one that I was working on last year. I thought I lost it. When fall winter time came, I put on a dress that had pockets and I found it. So we are going to finish it off. This is the, and I've been using it during the Christmas season too. Tower 28 Chill. As you guys can see, I'm halfway done with it. I should have no problem. I'll be able to finish this one off as well. So these are my two lip glosses that I want to bring in this year. If I, add, if I bring or use up any more lip glosses, that's a bonus for me. All right, you guys, there are my 24 products. 24 products, the hardest ones I feel will be, I feel like these are gonna be my hardest products. The three shadow sticks, the bronzer blush duo, as well as my lipstick and liquid lip, because I tend to forget to reapply these. So I'm gonna have to get into a new habit of doing that since I haven't bought lip products in so long, might as well get into the habit of that. I, Like I said, I will, I will update you guys on these products. Anything in this project that will be thrown into a project pan, I will let you guys know up updates on them and I will update you guys here. I'll just reference you guys to those videos because I don't want to sound repetitive and bore you guys. 24 products, I highly doubt that all of these products will be thrown into a project pan where I won't be able to update you guys on them. So you will see some sort of update on these. I'm hoping that by mid-year, I'm at least halfway done with them. That's my goal with by the second update is to at least be halfway done. Let's see how this goes, you guys. I've never tried 24 products in a full year. I've just done 20 or less, so let's see how well I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then.